Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Genevieve. In today's video, we are filming a collective haul from over the last couple of months, honestly, of things from like Home Goods, Target, Kirkland's, um, Hobby Lobby. There's like quite a few Hobby Lobby things. I picked up something on Facebook Marketplace that I want to share with you. But this is just going to be a haul of a bunch of neutral home decor items. And a lot of it I purchased in preparation for decorating a dining room hutch. We have been without a hutch for honestly, like since the summer, which has made me so sad. I love decorating hutches with beautiful dishes and like cool pieces, but I have not found one that I like until last weekend I was on Facebook Marketplace and I just broadened my like range. You can change the mileage and the towns on there. And I'm from New Jersey. So I like made the map hit PA, which I don't normally do. And I immediately was like, I have to have this hutch. I didn't want anything like too antique looking because I'm just not really into that vibe anymore. I wanted something with straight lines and that's so hard to find. I don't know why. So I finally found one. I gave her half of the money on Venmo already and we're going to pick it up tonight. It is Thursday, February 10th. I'm hoping to get this video out to you guys today. And then tomorrow will be a dining room hutch decorate with me. Y'all, I'm so excited. I, I can't wait. So let me get into sharing some of these pieces with you. Some of them will be for the hutch and then others are just for some other random areas of my house. But let's get into this video. I'm so excited to share it with you. So first up, this is something just super simple. These are from Walmart. I love these Anchor Hawking glass jars. I think these are so pretty for decor. I love glass jars like this. And I think this size was like seven or eight dollars at Walmart. I do have the matching one that is the larger version. I was going to return it after my Valentine's video, but honestly, I think I'm going to keep the set of two and put them in my hutch. Even if you fill this with like dry goods, like dried pasta or something, I'm thinking that would look really cute in my dining room hutch. So we'll see what I do with this. Even if you leave it empty, um, it'll look cute. You could fill this with like cookie cutters at different holidays. There's so much you can do with these. So I always try to pick them up if I see them. So I found this at TJ Maxx. Originally, I found the largest version. And of course, I was like, you don't need it. Then I thought about it for like a week and went back to TJ Maxx and it was gone. Why didn't I follow my own rule? Just buy it if you love it. And if it doesn't work, bring it back. I didn't follow my own rule and I missed out and now I'm sad, but I did find a smaller version, which was $16.99. This is labeled like a salad bowl, wooden salad bowl, but I am just loving this dark wood right now. I think this is so pretty. So I did pick this up. I um, am hoping to find the matching larger version and maybe like stack them together or do one on each shelf in a hutch or something but this is gorgeous for if people come over to use as a serving bowl. I just love this. Oh my goodness, do I have a visitor? <laughs> You're really not allowed on my dining table and I don't know how many times I can tell you. Stinky butt. Oh, he wants to go onto my wicker chair. He loves my wicker chairs, which is just fantastic for me, right? And um, if you're curious where my garland went for Valentine's Day, <laughs> he's the one that did it. <laughs> he is a terror. This is Phil and he's so bad, right? Your bad boy. Yeah. You told him you just got some vaccines yesterday. Oh my goodness. <gasps> yeah. Okay, Maggie. Can you hear Maggie's nails? Jesus, she's so jealous. Okay. Moving on, yes, I want to find the match to this. 
I have to. It's like my mission in life right now. Okay, next I was searching for these for a little while and I finally stumbled across them even though I already decorated for Valentine's Day. I picked these up. It's a set of three and let me see if I can show you. I'll probably put this on my shelf in my corner cabinet with all my Valentine's Day stuff because these are so pretty. It was only $10 for this set of three bowls at Marshall's. Okay, this is not coming off. Let me see if I can show you. So the middle is white hearts and then red hearts again. So if you put some dried rice in there and stack them, they, they would look really pretty displayed. So I grabbed those. Next up, I got this adorable white pitcher. Even the lady at Home Goods when I bought this, she was like, this is so adorable. Um, it's just a tiny white pitcher with some like pretty beading across. This was only $7.99. And what's cute is the little measuring lines inside if you wanted to use it. Mine's just gonna be for display, but I thought this was so pretty. So I grabbed that. This next piece, um, like I said, I'm loving this like dark wood color. And a couple of my pieces that I picked up are actually by this brand. It has this leather tag on it at Home Goods. Um, this was $20, but the real kicker is that it has this gorgeous glass lid. I love this thing. I think that is so beautiful and I don't know if I'll put anything in it, but when people come over to display stuff in here, I'm all about like being extra when people come over. So I will use something like this gorgeous piece. And then this piece, and then this was purchased from Ross. I got this for $11.99. I pop into Ross every once in a while, honestly, like maybe once a month because it's very hit or miss. I'm not crazy about it but I feel like they do have some really good hidden gems. And I saw this tray and I'm a sucker for like anything with this beaded design around it. I don't know why, but I really like it. And I thought this would be pretty as like a layering piece. You could put candle or anything on top of this. So yeah, I grabbed that for only $11.99 at Ross. Next up was some stuff from Hobby Lobby. I did pick up these from the spring shop. I bought these last year and I think I either sold them or gave them away. And I've been into decorating tiered trays again. So I decided to grab them again and learn my lesson to just store things away instead of getting rid of them. So I love these. Okay. This is like such a Studio McGee dupe at Hobby Lobby. It's only worth it if you buy them when they're 50% off, which I did. This baby one is 12 and the mama is 16. <laughs> yes, look at this. Are you kidding me? This looks just like that um, pot from Studio McGee. I will attach a little photo here. I actually have it, but I was like, you know what? I need this as well. Little mama and baby with some plants in it. I think these are so cute. And then um, while I was getting those pieces, all of the table decor was 50% off. So um, I did pick up three garlands. I got rid of a lot of these. I kept one that was this color, but I did end up getting rid of a bunch of them because I just wasn't really into the tier trays anymore or this bead look, but I loved these. I think these are so much different than this, like the coloring on them. I just think they look really cool. So I did grab a couple of them to use for um, like an Easter tier tray or to just drape across something in a cabinet. I'm really liking these again. I go through phases if you can't tell on my channel, but I am really loving these again. So I'm glad I picked them up. Um, I'm going in no particular order, by the way. Uh, this guy, 
Y'all, this was a really good deal. So I was at Walmart and there was an end cap with all of these clearance candles. And the sign said $4 for this candle. And there was a couple of them. So it smells so good. It's huge. It's by Better Homes and Gardens. It's the forest and flowers. And I was at the self checkout and it rang up like $18. I was like, uh, excuse me, please take this off. And the guy was like, oh, well, um, I said, this is ringing up uh, different than the sign said. And he said, oh, well, what was the sign marked? And I said, $4. And he's like, no problem. Marks it down to $4. I was like, oh, could I do that for a TV? Like, <laughs> so good, so good. I'm so excited about that. I got this little baby at Hobby Lobby. I don't know if I need this because then I also bought the giant version at Kirkland's too because it was on sale for $25. Um, I just don't know. I thought this would be cute with like tea lights in it or something. But like, I know I don't need this, but it's adorable. Let me show you the bigger version that I got at Kirkland's. I ordered it online. I had purchased this once before, decided I didn't need it and returned it. And then I saw it was on sale and I was like, I really do like this, but I'm just like, where am I gonna put both of these? So let me show you, but this is it. And this is huge. It's just like, it'll hang just like this, but this is like a huge version. What am I gonna do with this guys? It was only $25. If I put like candles on it and maybe make it the centerpiece of my dining table, what do you think? I don't know. I don't know. I know I don't, I know I don't need it, but she's cute. They're both cute. They're both cute. I don't know. All right. This guy I have been eyeing up at Kirkland's forever. And I finally had a 20% off coupon to Kirkland. So I bit the bullet and I bought it. I'm glad I did because it really is such a nice piece. It was originally 40, I think, and I got it 20% off. So this is the, oh, you've gotta be kidding me. It has like a gap in the leg. Like if I'm paying $40 for something, I want it to be immaculate. Like, see this big gap? Yeah, no, we're gonna exchange that. Oh, maybe I can pop it in, hold on. It just popped in, let me see. Okay, I fixed it. Ugh, just need my muscles, there we go. That annoys me though. Like, you're gonna charge $40 for something and it doesn't even, Come perfect. Okay, I have to shut up. Um, so yeah, I got this mango wood riser. I have been looking at this for months. And when I look at something repeatedly like that, I know I just should buy it because once it's gone, I'll be sad. So I picked this up with the coupon. I think this is so pretty. You could do anything with this. Candles. Um, you can make this like the centerpiece of a dining table. You can put this on your island. You can put this in the corner of your kitchen with um, like cookbooks stacked on it and a candle on top. You could put a crock with utensils. There's just so much to do with this type of item. So I picked that up. I know I will get so much use out of it. And then today I went to Home Goods. Um, I got this gorgeous bowl. This is that same brand at Home Goods with that leather tag. I got this beautiful bowl and like below me because the cats took it out <laughs> is like this filler that I picked up from Goodwill. If you saw my Goodwill haul, I could stick a bunch of this filler in this bowl. It would look really pretty. So this was $19.99. Grab that from Home Goods. And then I purchased the dotted ramekins and they're in my corner cabinet. If you can see, they're right here and there, like there. Um, so Home Goods had more of them and I got a different style to stack them in my hutch for tomorrow. And you get four of these 
They're from Portugal for $6.99. Like, they're seriously such a deal. So, I've seen a ton of these at a lot of different home goods that I've been in. So, definitely check yours if you're interested in something like that. You would pay that price at Goodwill nowadays. So, that's an awesome score. And then, I found this... I found this candle on clearance. It looks like it's a Valentine's Day one, which is perfect. I'll burn this through February. It was on clearance for $4. It's sweet strawberry and cream. This smells so freaking good. Like, I can't wait to burn this. It's not like, I normally don't buy stuff that's like colored like that, but for $4 and the way it smelled, it'll go great with Valentine's Day decor. And then I just picked up this new sink strainer because ours is funky. Um, next up from Hobby Lobby, I got some greenery because I DIY'd the vases that I showed you in my Goodwill haul. They look so good. I have one more left to do. I'm going to add some black to it. But the ones that I finished, I am shocked. I'm shocked. They look so good. I'm so excited to share that with you. So I picked up some greenery. It was half off today. I got four stems of this. I love this. So neutral and pretty. I really wanted tall olive stems, but my Hobby Lobby never has what I want. So I picked up the shorter ones. These were $10 and then half off. So a little chunk of them for five. And then I got these two to put in one of the smaller vases that I DIY'd. These were $10.99 and then half off. Also got this today. I just picked up um, two of these wooden cutting boards. They're small enough that I can lay them sideways like this to fit in my corner cabinet. I have a hard time with cutting boards and like adding wood textures in there because the shelving area is so short. So I thought these would go perfectly. These are in the spring shop. They're $10 and then 40% off. So I got two of them. And then I picked up this H as well. I've been eyeing this up and honestly, I could do so much with this. I think it's really cute. Um, just cause I'm proud to be a herring. I'm so happy to be getting rid of my family's last name, but a story for another day. But um, I just love like H stuff because it just reminds me of being with my love. So I got an H for us to use. I might put this on like my Ikea shelving or something, but that's white. So I don't know if that would really go. We'll find something to do with this, I'm sure. We could hang it in our bedroom, whatever. It's really cute. This is from Facebook Marketplace. And it was so convenient because the woman that was selling it lived legit five minutes from my house. So gotta love that. Definitely need to clean this a little bit, but it's this giant glass cloche. It was only $15. And I probably won't put this on like anything, honestly. Look at this. Oh my gosh. <gasps> How cute. Maybe we'll put that in my hutch like this. We'll say. But I just love that to put anything under that. For Easter, you could put like an Easter bunny under that. Um, like one of those pretty wooden ones from Home Goods, like stick the cloche over the Easter bunny with like some grass or something. These are so versatile and I've just been into like the bigger ones. I used to have a bunch of small ones from Goodwill and I got rid of them because they were so small I felt like I couldn't do much with them but this baby we're gonna have fun with. All right next is this awesome tree. It was $60 and then half off so 30 bucks for this tree. It is the four foot myrtle plant and it's from Hobby Lobby. And I have been leaving this in my umbrella basket from Target right here. 
and it looks so cute. I've been waiting to find the perfect tree for that basket, mainly because the top of it is so narrow that no pot would fit in it, but I finally found one and I think this is so pretty. I really want an olive tree, but I want a specific one from Target that I should have bought and now it's sold out, but we'll see. One day I will find an olive tree. All right, and then this was new on kirklands.com. I have not seen it in my local store yet, but I picked this up for in front of our kitchen sink. I think this is so cute. Um, I've been looking for one for our kitchen sink forever. It looks like tile. Guys, this was only $18.99 and then I just put in like an extra email address that I had um, to receive a 20% off coupon. So 20% off of 19, such a steal for like a cute mat in front of your sink. And it's that like nice squishy material. They say like comfort, good for your back. It'll definitely be good for my back because my back's the only one that usually does the dishes. So there's that. Um, so yeah, homegirl needs some comfort under her feet while she does the dishes. And now we can look cute. Oh, you know what? Let me show you these from Christmas tree shops. So my friend Dominique had these in a crock in her um in her house she had like a crock with a whole bunch of cute spring florals and then these lights these like um branch lights sticking out of it and they came on at night and it was just like so cute in the corner um and so I picked these up at Christmas tree shops they were marked $6.99 but they rang up like $3.50 um I wonder if you can see let me this, they have like a little try me button, but they glow like this, but it was so cute. And I thought maybe I could mix this in with some floral and put this in like a cute vase. I don't know. We'll see. Maybe this is tacky, but it looked really cute in her crock. So maybe I'll have to find like a nice wide mouth um, vase to put them in with some floral, but it really did look cute. I'll have to like have her send me a picture and maybe I can attach it uh, up here. If not, sorry, but it really did look cute. So we'll give that a shot and I'll let you know if it looks good or not. All right, guys, that's going to be it for today's video. I do have some more things to share with you, but they are Easter items. So that will be in my Easter home decor haul. So that's going to be it for today's video. I am trying to get this up. It's two o'clock and we're leaving by like five. So I have three hours. I'm going to try to edit this and get it up for you guys today. And then tomorrow I'm going to film my, oh, I'm so excited, my dining room hutch decorate with me. Wait till you see how beautiful this hutch is. It's so good. It's so good. I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, definitely hit that thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you're new here and join our little community, our little corner of the internet. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.